Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is Waj, and in this video we'll be discussing the possibility of gaming on a 5K display. Nowadays, since you have all these new graphics cards that have been coming out that uh, kind of are geared towards UHD gaming, this is the ultimate UHD monitor right now available. This is the Dell UP 2715K. I have a full review on the channel if you haven't seen that already. But in this video, we'll be specifically focusing on the gaming aspects of this monitor, and more importantly, uh, what is the performance response results of gaming on a 5k monitor what kind of frame rates can you expect on different gaming titles and is it even possible on a decently powerful graphics card we'd be using the GTX 980 for all of our benchmarks so if you're interested in that let's get right into this now just to let everyone know, the monitor that we're going to be looking at to do our 5K benchmark is the Dell UP2715K. This is one of the first generation 5K monitors that's available right now in the marketplace. And even though we're going to be using this monitor as a 5K gaming platform, it's really designed to be more for productivity and content creation. The input lag is pretty slow at 8 milliseconds and unfortunately there's not a lot of options out there for gaming grade UHD monitors specifically at the 5K resolution. So uh, for now, we'll just have to stick with this. Now, in terms of our test PC for this video, we're going to be using a computer that has a Intel Core i7-5820K that's overclocked to about 4.6 gigahertz. This is a six core CPU. In terms of motherboard, we're using the MSI X99S SLI Plus, and we have 64 gigs of DDR4 memory. And in terms of the graphics card, we're using the EVGA Superclock version of the GTX 980, and it has been overclocked slightly for optimal performance. Now the first thing that we're going to take a look at is my results for the Unigen Valley Synthetic Benchmark and at high detail settings with a resolution of 5120 by 2880 and no anti-aliasing we get a score of about 28.2 frames per second which is uh, certainly pretty low. Uh, again for most uh, gaming applications 5k needs at least a two GTX 980s. Unfortunately we only have one but even with one of the fastest graphics cards you're only getting under 30 frames per second at this crazy high resolution. Now the first real gaming scenario was Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. At pretty much maxed out settings with no anti-aliasing enabled, we get a definitely a very playable frame rate of 47.7 frames per second. And at that resolution of 5120 by 2880, it is certainly a very playable frame rate and it's very smooth at certain times too with uh, minimal dips. And it's definitely nice to see a modern game like this run at this crazy resolution. Now Far Cry 4 is a completely different story at high overall detail settings not maxed out ultra settings uh, with no anti-aliasing we're still getting a very low 25.4 frames per second and that's even with the GPU overclocked quite a bit this is a really high demanding title at even a lower resolution so it's no surprise that at this uh, 5k resolution we're getting pretty uh, poor results from one single GTX 980 and even though the GTX 980 has four gigabytes of GDDR5 I think even more video memory would certainly help uh, getting more manageable playable frame rates at this very high demanding title. Now if you do lower the detail quality settings you will get uh, above the 30 frames per second mark but again uh, you're not going to want to play Far Cry 4 unless it's on high or ultra settings in the first place. Now the game that probably performed the best was uh, Grid Autosports, which at complete max out settings were getting very close to 60 frames per second, 59.4 frames, and uh, definitely nice to see how well the GTX 980 supports this game at the 5120 by 2880 resolution, and uh, at fully maxed out settings, it is quite an exceptional experience. Moving right along, Battlefield 4 at high settings, again not maxed out ultra settings, we're getting 30.1 frames per second, so it performed a little bit better than Far Cry 4 but I think most people want to play a game like Battlefield at least 45 frames per second or above so it doesn't really hit that criteria of uh, playable frame rates in terms of the modern PC gaming standard but it's certainly passable for uh, kind of uh, moderate gamers and you can probably lower down and tweak some of the detail settings to get around 35 frames per second at 5k resolution or you could just lower it down uh, to a lower resolution and have it easily above 40 frames per second but definitely interesting 
interesting to see the results on Battlefield 4. Now the last game that we're going to try out is a role-playing strategy game, Dragon Age Inquisition, and uh, pretty much at uh, kind of medium settings, we're getting 16.3 frames per second, and uh, Dragon Age Inquisition is probably one of the most demanding PC gaming titles that is available right now, and uh, this is certainly no exception at that crazy 5K resolution. So I think in order to get uh, any kind of playable frame rates on this platform, you're probably going to have to lower down the resolution quite a bit or uh, buy a whole bunch of graphics cards to uh, basically feed this monster that is Dragon Age Inquisition. But in summary, you can see that some games such as Call of Duty and Great Autosports definitely perform pretty well even at this crazy 5K resolution. You had decent playable frame rates and if you lower down the quality settings of more intensive games, you can definitely get in that kind of playable frame rates, but that's not what PC gamers do. They crank up all the resolution and all the detail settings to get the most out of their PC. That's the whole motto of the PC gaming world in the first place. So for most people who are competitive gamers or serious gamers, they're probably going to not be interested in even a UHD monitor and let alone a uh, 5k monitor and this specific monitor is not really geared towards gamers at all it has 8 milliseconds response time which is unsuitable for most serious gamers and plus it's more geared towards content creation and professionals that want to get really accurate colors it has a very nice 10-bit panel with uh, very good color accuracy so for content creators this is great and even though you can play games on a 5k display it is still too early to do so I think at this point but if you are interested again in a full review of this monitor definitely check out uh, the end of the video where we find a link to my full review and uh, thanks so much for watching thanks so much for your support and we'll see you later take care